Hi guys, I've had a couple of questions about the propellers that I used on these um, well they were originally gliders but I converted them to this one's rubber powered and the other one's got a small electric motor powered by a super capacitor and I came across these in the bargain store it's a What's it call it? A wrist shooter and spinner. And it's got some rather nice little propellers in there. So I thought I might give them a try. And it's two different sized propellers. I don't know if this small one will be small enough to go on the little electric motor. The biggest problem there will be converting the rather large hole that's in the middle there to the very small shaft on the motor. The rubber band powered one might be easier to do so I'll try that first. That should just be mat a matter of drilling a hole through this propeller and just sticking it on the front there. So I might try that. Sorry it's all a bit shaky cam, but I forgot to bring my tripod up so this is handheld. That one's fitted on there quite easily. Just drilled a hole straight through it. I've cut a little bit of a slot at the front there for the bent paper clip to hook into to hold the propeller steady while you're winding it up. But I've just let that fly across the bedroom and that seems quite promising. So might go and try that somewhere where we can let it go. Now to have a look at this one. I think what I'm going to have to do with this one is actually have it backwards. Because there's no way I can fill that hole at the front there, or the, that bit, and make it fit into the very tiny shaft on that motor. But I might be able to just drill a small hole in that knobbly bit that's sticking out there. And that might just be enough. I'll probably trim the circular pr protector off the outside as well to reduce the weight a bit. Right, that shaft is about the same thickness as this pin. So what I'll do is I'll try and push that pin into the end of there to make the hole and then push that onto the shaft. Right, got it on there eventually. There's a tiny bit of power in the supercapacitor. Doesn't look too bad actually. So we'll be able to give that one a try as well. Okay, left hand launch is going to be a bit of a problem. But we'll go for it. Hmm. That was a bit of a struggle too. I'll we'll try right hand launch and left hand camera. Climbed. Yeah, it tried. Okay, we'll try this fella. Well, that went. That 
up. I thought it was going to go out of the park then. <laughs> that was lucky. Because over there is water. <laughs> So, one good flight. Let's see if we can get one good flight out of the rubber one as well. These are a bit small to be able to see them with this camera. That one flew reasonably well that time. And that's uh, the end of those flight tests. Hot glue gun required. <laughs>